We are on our way over to the Northwest Pacific Ocean where we have Typhoon Halong, which is currently a violent typhoon with winds of 138 miles per hour, located at 28.1 degrees north and 137.3 degrees east, moving north at a slow 8 miles per hour over pretty warm ocean surface temperatures of around 29 degrees Celsius, just south of Japan. Now this typhoon has developed and traversed across the Western Pacific on its way towards Japan and has strengthened and currently is predicted to strengthen further with winds of 144 miles per hour and skirt past Japan as it is deflected northeast back out to the Northern Pacific away from Japan but will come within around 200 miles of the Japanese eastern coastline and around 200 miles away from Tokyo. Now currently in Japan it is October 8th and it's around 11 a.m. in the morning and this typhoon is going to send rain bands over the southern and eastern shores of the country, possibly bringing high surf, riptides and dangerous waves also to the coastline with increased chance of erosion and possible flooding. Now, there are multiple reasons why this typhoon is not going to make landfall in Japan. It is because of the persistent high pressure right now over northern China and Russia and across to northern Japan of above 1,018 millibars. And then you also have a very strong jet stream, the subpolar and subtropical joined together right above Japan, which is moving quickly from the west to the east. And we also have the change in latitude as Typhoon Halong moves for the north away from the equator. It will be deflected by the chorus effects. There's three mechanisms that are going to basically deflect and force Typhoon Halong and this violent typhoon away from Japan, thankfully, and not make landfall and push it out into the northern Pacific Ocean where it will slowly dissipate over cooler ocean waters.